All right, so let's just get right into it. So if you're going to the gym and you're like, I need to work my abs out, uh, what gym machines can I use to work my abs? Um, I'm gonna give you a couple exercises. Here's the first one right here. So this is a cable leg raise. So all you're gonna do is just put the band around your leg and you're gonna lift your leg up and down. So you're gonna do one leg at a time. So one leg is staying down, the other leg's coming up. So you will feel this in your hip flexors, but it's really good for your lower abs. So you can do one leg for about 10 to 15 reps, do the other leg for about 10 or 15 reps, and then swap. Um, you're gonna feel this a little bit in your hip flexors, you're gonna feel it in your lower abs, so it's gonna be a really good one to tighten up your stomach. Another variation of the cable leg raise is you're gonna do the same movement, but you're gonna come up and do opposite arm to opposite leg. So you're trying to touch the top of that foot, bring it up and down. So you're coming up like a V, coming up and touching it. So do the same, but about 10 reps on one side, 10 reps on the other side. So this one right here is a reverse crunch. So you're going to put your feet in the handles and you're going to kick your legs out and in. So you're going to feel this on your lower abs. As you bring it in, make sure you squeeze your core and tighten your stomach tight. Then you're going to bring it in and out, in and out. So do about 10 to 15 reps. Do about three or four sets. All right, so for the weighted crunch, this is one of my favorite ab exercises to do. It adds resistance to the regular, ordinary crunch. Um, all you're going to do is just hold your hands over your head. You're not pulling it with your arms. All your arms are doing is being locked out and you're coming up like a regular crunch. So your abs are doing most of the work. It's pulling you forward, coming down. As you can see, I'm not letting the weight touch. I'm pulling it right back up, coming down, pulling it up. So it's constant tension on the abs. All right, so for the last two exercises, a knee raise to a leg raise. So similar to the other exercises, when you bring your legs up, you want to make sure you squeeze your core. So bring it up, squeeze your core, and when you extend down, extend your legs all the way down. You want to stretch those muscles out and repeat the process. For the leg raises, the same thing. So lift your legs all the way up. Try to get it to 90 degrees if you can and bring it all the way back down. 90 degrees up, all the way back down. This is going to really help you tighten up your stomach and your core. All right, so full disclaimer, if you really want to tighten up your core, you want to get your nutrition right, I cannot say that enough. I cannot stress that enough. Lose the fat on your stomach first and then hit the core right. Then your abs are going to show. So if you have excess fat on around your belly, around your midsection, it's going to be really hard to show those abs. So make sure you get that nutrition right first. And here's some great exercises that you can do. Man, if you like this video, comment below. Let me know if you like it or not. Let me know what you want to see. Let me know what videos you want me to make. I'll make them in the comments. If this is your first time to the channel. What up, y'all? This is Quan from Be Phenomenal. I help you discover your best self through fitness and health. We post new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Friday. So make sure you subscribe, like, share with somebody. I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Peace.